So some of the challenges the Marines are facing is that they're coming from Camp Lejeune where it is not this cold, there's not this much snow ever. Um, some of them have never seen this much snow or ice before, so to train in an environment like this, it's very new to them, understanding how to use the gear they've been given. And that's been the focus, I think, for this training package is how to be successful with the gear as well as um, how to set up camp and how to establish a fighting position and things like that. Um, once we focus on the survival aspect and being able to survive here, then we'll uh, be able to focus more on the tactics. So as the lead instructor for this package, I wanted to make sure that the Marines understand how to use their gear and how to use it properly um, when moving, taking off layers, when they're static or not moving, being able to add on layers. Each Marine is different, so one person might need their happy jacket when another person doesn't, but they need to know that for themselves. So from a leadership standpoint, we have something to learn and being able to control that and know when a Marine's getting cold, how to adapt. Um, the snow itself provides some challenges. I think the varsity move would be to understand how to use the winter as a weapon. So yes, we have an enemy, but there's also the winter that we have to fight. So if we can use that to our advantage with um, the terrain, the different snow conditions, I think that would uh, really suit us. So I think the Marines have reacted really well to coming out here um, from the moment they stepped off the plane. They've been ready to receive the training. Um, they took what they learned back in the rear and they're able to stay in high spirits even after spending a night in some pretty cold conditions. Um, it sucks putting on cold boots, cold camis, um, getting out of the tent in the morning, but the Marines all have uh, shown that they do have discipline in, in the routines that we've shown them. So a day in the life in the Arctic environment involves getting up, realizing that it's going to be cold, doing the hard things, putting on your warming layers, and then immediately turning to uh, getting the stove running, heating up your meals, starting to melt some snow for water so that you can hydrate throughout the day. And then from there, uh, we take, we've taken the Marines, shown them some different tactics. We had them establish a defensive position last night, and then today we were able to refine and better reinforce where we're at, constantly improving our fighting position. I think coming to Norway is a great opportunity for the Marines to get out of their comfort zone. I think that it puts them in a place where, one, they're going to work alongside partner forces to better hone our skills, but also to see how our partner nations work so that should there need, should there come a time when we need to work together, we'll speak the same language and be on the same page as far as our tactics and training goes. I would say my favorite part of being in Norway has been seeing the Marines from different units and different MOSs come together and work together for a common goal. Uh, back at the camp, coming together, making everything happen with the movements and then coming out here to the field to engage in the training. Everybody's shown that they're very capable and willing to learn. What I've seen the most fulfilling part for the Marines is being challenged with the cold weather, with the challenges of moving in the snow and on ice, and being able to overcome those challenges, to do what they know is right and to adapt to the conditions. Some of them have never seen this amount of snow before or been this cold, but they're, they have trust in their leadership, I think, so we've been able to, to guide them in the right direction with everything we've done so far. So the cold weather effects that the Marines conducted back in Camp Lejeune established the routines and gave them an understanding of how to set up a tent and how to set up the stove, but they did not have the actual conditions to understand and participate in cold response. So I think that this, this training specifically will better prepare them to engage in that. Uh, myself and two other Marine instructors have been very fortunate to have three Norwegian instructors attached with us and they've essentially led the training for us and having their real world experience in addition to the training they've received with the Norwegian Army, uh, they're getting it straight from the horse's mouth. They're truly learning from subject matter experts, I would say. So I think that the knowledge that the Norwegians have, this is their country, this is their backyard, so they live here, fight here, and for us to come here and have that opportunity to train, uh, the Marines are really gonna benefit from that.